Today is about uh, connecting urban folks to farming and food and, and where, their, where their dinner comes from. Showing them how things are grown um, and, sh and just showing them the process of seed to the table. So Northlands Urban Farm is on about one acre of land, just underneath one acre of land, and we grow anywhere from 20 to 60 varieties of vegetables in any given season. In the market garden context, it's about intensively farming in small areas and showing people that they can kind of stack their crops up throughout the season, starting earlier, going later, succession planting, and really teaching them what crops grow here in town. You can't just look at a hive and see bees. They're, they're inside, they sting, we tend to have a really strong fear of them. So the sting fear and the inaccessibility makes them, I think, a bit more mysterious and attractive to people. People just love bees to begin with. They would love bees even if they didn't get to see them, but the fact that they get to see them really is very exciting for, for kids, for adults and have it explained to them how this hive is set up and what the bees do in the honeycomb. I don't think anyone has any idea how often do you get to go to a beekeeper and say, show me the inside of a hive. The important thing is to know your farmer, get to know your farmer. So you can find us at uh, farmer's markets, um, but it's important that we have clients that come and support us uh, you know, economically. So um, you know, the, the education and the program components are great and we love to uh, meet people, but we're trying to make an economic go of this. There's a lot of potential to grow here in the city. Uh, you, whether you have a balcony or a backyard, the potential to grow your own vegetables here is huge. We've got a longer season than you think, and there's a, you know, a hundred more crops than you can imagine we can grow here that are all edible. It just opens their mind to being that part of a network, even if they don't have a farm in the country, even if they don't have a, a place to go out of the city. In the city, you can experience wildlife. Uh, you can grow things. You can be part of uh, an intricate food system and ecosystem.